going on today guys? We're going to check out my Ibanez RG920QMZ. Uh, thank you Ibanez, yes, for the extremely long and difficult serial number names. This one originally came with Ibanez IBZs or DiMarzio IBZs. Um, they're kind of an inferior pickup. I uh, wasn't too happy with those, so they came out quick. I replaced them with a set of DiMarzio Steve Vyes. I had a Gravity Storm in the bridge and an Evolution in the neck. I found them both to be a little too mid-rangey for my tastes, so yanked them after a couple of weeks. Freshly installed, just got this back from my tech a couple days ago with bare knuckle uh, silos, a set of silos. These things sound sick. And of course I had to stick with the 80s uh, theme here with the guitar. Went red and pink. What are your thoughts on that? Too extreme? Not extreme enough? Is the 80s over and I should just let it go? Probably, but am I going to? Nah, <laughs> sorry. And of course the Steve Vai uh, DiMarzio strap lock, just to add some more color. The type of strap you use makes the guitar sound different. <laughs> what, is he for real? No, I'm just joking. Ripping through some tones here, give you a sense of what these bare knuckles sound like. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty fun. They've got a lot of clarity, uh, pretty high output, but they don't really lean too much toward the bright or the, you know, the warm side. They're right kind of in the middle there, but they're not, they don't peak in the mid-range. They're just very flat and easy to uh, EQ, you know, get the tone you want to get out of your guitar. I just love these things a lot. Uh, I'm not really playing anything in particular. I'm just kind of screwing around. But yeah, let's see what we can get for, for some sounds here. Here we go. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah, these silos, I watched a lot of reviews on them and I thought I'll give them a try. I have not been disappointed yet. <laughs> There's a first. So there you go guys, just a brief intro and demo into the uh, bare knuckle silo pickups. I personally love these things. When you do order them, if you order bare knuckle pickups, you're able to customize them. Color, configuration, you can have them covered, not covered. The bobbins you can have obviously different colors. I chose pink and red, you could have them all red, you could have them all black, white, whatever color you like. I wanted to do something fun with this guitar because it is, it is really an 80s, you know, hair metal looking guitar so in keeping with that theme i just wanted to you know put something fun in there i have pickups from other manufacturers like seymour duncan and demarzio i also have bare knuckle aftermaths in my seven string which i'll review in a future video i am thoroughly impressed with the sound of these i think rabia and the um, bare knuckle team did a great job specking these out they sound phenomenal i'm not going to lie to you you know, it's difficult to give an objective review of gear that you already own. I get it. It's just human nature to want to love whatever it is you've already purchased. But honestly, I have pickups from other manufacturers. I've got DiMarzios, I've got Seymour Duncans, and these are a cut above those. I, I have to say, they just sound great. I already had a custom set, a custom color configuration of the Steve Vai, Gravity Storm, and the Evolution, as I mentioned earlier. I picked those out thinking that they would sound great in that guitar, and honestly, they were not really what I was looking for in the end. You know, the tonal characteristics of that particular guitar called for something that had a little less mid-range. Yeah, I'm thoroughly satisfied. I hope I've given you enough to go on. You know, if you're considering buying these, I would say go for it. You will not be disappointed, honestly. These silos are selling like hotcakes, from what I can tell on the internet anyways. Obviously, they sound good or people wouldn't be buying them, so check them out for yourself. All right, that's it for today. I'm signing off. So as always, stay safe, stay healthy. See ya!